Robert um, regarding Creative Studio and patterns. Uh, and that question is, is, is there a way for me to uh, create a print off or a booklet or catalog of the patterns that I have? Um, sometimes uh, people want to have like a something tangible for their uh, quilting customers to look at whenever they're choosing patterns or deciding on um, patterns that they want to have on their quilt. Um, there is a way to do that within Creative Studio. Um, so for those of you that uh, aren't sure how to do that, uh, pay attention and we're going to cover that real quick. Just give me a second to get my screen shared. Okay, so you all should be able to see Creative Studio open now. Um, one thing that I want to make sure that I do first is I check to see if I'm logged into Pattern Cloud in Creative Studio. And I can tell that by clicking on the Patterns tab here and looking to see if there's an avatar here. And if there is, that means I'm not signed in. So I need to click on the avatar, click on Login, and get signed in real quick. Give it just a second for my patterns to load. Okay, so we've got patterns loaded. Um, so to get to the option to build a pattern catalog, we need to look at these buttons right here under our patterns tab. And this one that looks like a piece of paper with a heart it says import patterns. We're just going to click on that. And if we scroll down almost to the bottom, we'll see build pattern catalog. And we click on that, and it creates uh, basically a page with all of your patterns on it. Now, I say all of your patterns on it. This isn't actually all of your patterns on this page. Um, it's only going to uh, create a catalog for the first 100 patterns. So let me close this real quick and go back. You'll notice here in our list of patterns, you'll see that it says page one of three patterns one through 100. So it's only going to create a catalog based on the page that you're on. So I can import patterns button, click build a pattern catalog, and it's going to create a document of all the patterns that are on this first page. So I would need to go to the second page and create a catalog of those patterns, the third page, create a catalog of those patterns um, in order to get all of my patterns on a printout. So you just want to be aware of that. Make sure you go through and build a pattern catalog of all the pages of patterns that you have. So back to page one real quick. Import patterns, build pattern catalog. And I can export this then. Um, if I click the little, what looks like a floppy disk up here with the green arrow, you'll hover over it, you'll see it says export. And I can export that as an Excel document, as a PDF, or as a Word document. And we also have the option here to just print directly from this page. So I'm going to export it as a PDF. Decide where I want to save it on my computer, what I want to name it. Save. And then I can find that on my computer. Um, I can pull up that PDF. I can email it to somebody if I needed to. I could print it out, put it in a book, um, however I wanted to utilize that uh, pattern catalog. So hopefully that'll help some of you guys out, um, answer that question that some of you yeah, either have had and didn't get into answer for or may have that question in the future. Um, if you've got any more questions about the pattern catalog, feel free to call in a tech support, or you can get us on uh, chat on camel.com, or you can post a comment here on the Facebook Live. All right, well, everybody take care, and we will see you next week.